Let them take out the spikes. The spikes are doing their job. Oh no! Now attack! Attack! They're trying to cut through the stone. Did you see that? I knew it. Alright, survivors. Polly Jr. here and welcome back to Craft the World. Can somebody pick up that pick? Alright, we picked the pick. Thank you. Thank you, Lun, for picking the pick. So yeah, we have done a little bit of work here off camera. Got the dwarves hard at work mining this iron over here and we are um we're doing some forging finally i got a forge set up over here and we're making some metal weapons finally a metal tool so far i don't think we have access to the metal weapons just yet did we unlock that i did play a little bit off camera like i was saying here no we haven't oh yeah oh, we did we unlocked the weapons okay yeah i played this a few days ago on my own to make a little bit of progress it seems like you guys are interested in more craft the world so we are going to continue. So yeah, check it out. We can now make a steel club, a wooden bow, a wooden staff. That's a magic staff that shoots like electric bolts, I think, and fire arrows. Cool. Now all this has to be forged on the forge. So it does take time. Um, I think that's what that one means. Yeah, this requires a forge. So we have one being forged. Let's go ahead and make one steel club. We're going to make a bow. Gonna need rope for that, of course, and we'll get that on the forge. Is that forge or workbench? That's a workbench. That's fine. We'll get one of those going. And then a magical staff for our mage. And we need glass for that, which is sand and coal. And that has to be forged. So yeah, all this is gonna take a little bit of time. We also have clay here, oil, paper, and bottles. And then the glass. Cool. All right, well, let's let the uh, dwarves get to work. Oh, we have a backpack here for somebody. Um, I think everybody has a backpack except for our smith. And he's got the apron on. So we're going to let him continue smithing. I don't know why he's doing the smithing, Ori. He just took up that task on his own. Um, wait, is this Ori? It's not Ori. No, it's Fever. And Fever's hurt. Dude, you should go to sleep. All right, well, he's going to do the... He's making the glass. He's the glass maker. Not necessarily the uh, smith. Let's put that away. And then just give you the backpack. Yeah, we don't have a smithing book. I hope to get one sooner or later. Oh, we have climbing shoes, too. Uh, all right, let's give somebody climbing shoes, I guess. Do we have a logger? I think we have a logger. Who's our logger? Right here. Yeah, give Ori the climbing shoes. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That takes the place of the shield. I was thinking they would go down here where the shoes are. Doesn't that make sense? All right, well, you know what? I want him to have the shield. Forget the climbing shoes. That's weird. All right, everybody, how we doing here? We have an, a wave of monsters. I did actually defeat the first wave off camera, and we have another one coming in 15 minutes. First wave isn't too tough. It wasn't too difficult to defeat the first wave, so I did that off camera. You didn't really miss very much. I did find this nest of um, termites or ants or whatever the heck they are down there. So that's something we're gonna have to deal with pretty soon. Um, can you just put a torch up there, buddy, so we can see down there? Somebody? Somebody, please, and grab that iron. So we have, uh, we have, um, Lund doing the forging down here, making the glass still. And hopefully we can get that staff made up now. Oh, yes, we can. And that is going to be made on the workbench. All right. So, let's, uh, well, let's do some equipping now that we have some more metal stuff here. We have our, our, uh, bow. I'm going to give that to our archer. Who happens to be Santa. Santa Anna. And we have unlimited simple arrows. But we're going to get some new arrows crafted up here. Very shortly. The fire arrows. Easy to make. Resin, wood, and a red feather. We'll get 20 of those made up. Pretty sure that's on the workbench too. Oh, by the way. We can make water this way. By putting snow or ice somewhere indoors. And then it melts into water. And then you collect the water. And we needed water in order to make the forge. So that's how I figured that out. Um, wait a minute, dude. Put put it down. <laughs> this guy just picked up the snow and ran off with it. It's not what I wanted you to do. I want you to put it down. Show us how to make water. They put the snow down inside. And it's kind of warm in here. So it should. Should melt. Um, at some point. I guess we, there it is. Okay. And then we can collect it. Oh, it fell down here. <laughs> We're probably going to have to make like a little water pit that we can use in order to collect water because that doesn't seem very efficient. Um, let's get down here. We're gonna open up that hatch and we're going to light this up and grab more 
of this uh, iron to do more forging. We've got lots of iron down here. I want to get everybody um, equipped with with these uh, steel clubs. We have one right here. In fact, let's give a steel club to our warrior and first dwarf of the colony, Ingborg. Steel club does 20 damage, three more than the uh, the skeleton's old weapons. But now we can give these old weapons to people that need them, like Darren. And we have a skeleton sword here that we got from a dead skeleton, apparently. And this guy right here does not have... Oh, wait, he's a mage. Yes, Fieber is the mage, and we're going to give him the wooden staff for zapping stuff. Pretty cool. And I think I might make another bow. Oh, we're out of wood. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Where's all the wood at? This map just does not have enough wood. It's crazy. All right, here's some wood. Let's go chopping down the trees here. Dwarves, these, let's get it all. All right, let's head back here. We want to get ready for this... Um, this new wave of critters, and we want to get to these basic fortifications, so we have to make a few more of these basic weapons to unlock that, and we can unlock this here pretty easily. Advanced woodworking, um, and basic processing. Oh, and we wanted to make another bow too, right? Let's make another bow now that we have the wood for it, and there goes all the wood. Man, that stuff goes fast. Yeah, the wood goes really fast here. Um, kill a sheep way down here, and also this, uh, these headstones. <laughs> this guy's trying to climb the snow. You can't make it. <laughs> Let me give you a ladder there, buddy. It's so slippery. That's where the climbing shoes come in handy, probably. All right, get rid of the headstones. There we go. Task complete. New technology. Basic weaponry. Unlocked, and now we can make these simple fortifications. Uh, simple fence. Wooden trap. Wooden cage. Wooden spikes. Ice spikes? Oh, that's cool. Out of... Oh, we can make ice spikes out of ice, of course. And cages. Let's make... Uh, oh, get three cages for that? That's pretty good. Yeah, cages are great because you can capture the um, the attacking enemy for a few, a few seconds. And you get some free attacks, which is super nice. Alright, how are we doing for time? 11 minutes before the new attack shows up. And I'm thinking about, um, hmm. Oh, there's a tree right here, a big one. Go get it. I want to push this stuff back, the snow. Push it back away from the shelter. And I want to get all this out of here as well. Because I think the enemy can use this for climbing. And I'm pretty sure they can jump across here to get up on our roof. Oh, a book. Archer book. Oh, that's perfect timing. Perfect timing because we just made a new bow. So let's pick another... Archer here. How about Darren? Darren, you're going to be the new archer, buddy. There we go. Darren's now a miner and an archer, and we're going to give him that bow. Uh, right here, and you can use... I want you guys using simple arrows for now, and then when we get attacked by the big wave, we'll throw in some fire arrows. We're probably going to need more fire arrows, frankly. So let's get some more fire arrows getting made up. It takes a long time. To whip up those arrows and now I want to knock this down and get this away from the shelter So let's take that out and in the meantime, do we get everybody back here with the ice? Ooh, I think so. Let's make some ice spikes right here five ice Ice spikes delay and damage attacking monsters. That's perfect. We get only one spike. That's ridiculous All right. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Let's go set up our Defenses. In fact, I think there's a task for that. Um, where is that new task? Yeah, protect your home. It's worth 6.4 thousand experience. That's quite a bit. So this is going to give us a nice chunk of experience. And I'm thinking about putting these right in front of the door. Yeah, I just want you to install it right there. It looks, It's going to look great. And over here too. And then we're going to build up some... Uh... Oh, there it is. Task complete. Protected the home. We must protect this house. 6,400 experience. I'd love to get a new dwarf before this new uh, wave shows up. All right, take this one too, dude. Remove these ladders. We don't need them here anymore. And then uh, dig and dig. Uh-oh, it's nighttime. I want to put this up here so the, the snow doesn't fall on top of our cage. What are you climbing that ladder for? <laughs> Remove the ladder. Okay, we don't need the ladder there. There we go. All right, that's going to have to do for now, although we can... Can we get rid of these two backgrounds? 
Yep, it is now dark. And the monsters are going to start showing up. Let's put our ice spikes maybe over here. I also wanted to replace the snow with, um, with stone, which we can do easily enough. We just have to get enough stone to do it. Now, how's everybody doing as far as health and hunger? Let's see. Everybody healthy? You go rest. I want everybody at full strength and fed. And everybody looks a little bit hungry, so I'm going to send them down to eat. I wish they did this on their own, really. Oh, no, you go rest. And you go eat. Somebody's digging. Okay. I don't see any monsters just yet, but they're probably going to show up soon enough. And then we'll send our uh, dwarves in to attack them. These guys are going to start digging out of here if we get too close. So that's why we're not taking out that um, that iron right there. All right, we got the ice spikes up. That's pretty cool. Why don't we craft up a wooden spike? Man, it's really too bad you only get one at a time. We'll put this over here. And now I think what we might do is grab the stone, bring it down here, and then do a replace job, which is pretty easy to do. Oops. Just by clicking on what you have there, we're going to replace the front. Can we do the whole row? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, that's cool. Replace the front blocks with with rocks. We're going to have to go get more rocks, obviously. I want to replace all of this. Oh, hold on. Attack. We, why is the attack? What is the attack? We're attacking the ice spikes. So the ice spikes actually do damage. They slow them down. Um, the cage is going to capture them for a second. Oh. oh, here we go. This guy over here now. Two little mini yetis attacking. Nothing too difficult. I want to see the mage do a zappy zap. And unfortunately, these spikes don't last forever. They do have a health. No, no, no. Leave it alone. And I don't think they can repair. Get out of the cage, you silly. Who's in there, Ingborg? <laughs> All right, did everybody eat and sleep? Do we have anybody hurt? Uh, we got a hungry, hungry dwarf here. We got plenty of food on that table. I don't know why you guys aren't eating. Go eat. I want everybody, everybody's bellies nice and full. And we're going to put some more food on there. How about some eggs? Got two full tables of chow. Um, they probably want berries, too. It's nice to have a balanced and mixed diet. Oh, what the? Dude. Look at that guy. Those ice spikes are pretty tough. Oh, here we go. Here come the skeletons. I really wanted to fall back. And by the way, I think we can get him to fall back because we got a new we got a, a new spell, a horn spell, which I think calls them all back to a particular location. Yeah, oh my gosh. Alright, well I wanted them to fight over here, let the cage do it. <laughs> Alright, fall back. Fall back, everybody. They're not falling back. They're distracted by the enemy, which is fine. I really wanted to wait inside for the enemy to show up and get caught in the traps. But uh, they just don't listen sometimes. These dwarves, they they do their own thing. They're, they're independent thinkers. All right, let's see what else we can craft here. We have some new stuff. Oh, archer's gloves. Yeah, we got to make these. Make those archer's gloves. Um, let's make two of those for the archers. I think that might replace the shields, but that's okay. They're archers, so that's not a big deal. And let's replace this front snow right here with stone, and then replace the earth with stone as well. Do I have to remove that thing? Yeah, maybe. All right, come on, do it. What are you guys doing? It's now morning, and I think we're going to cut into here and grab some rock and some more ice, make some more ice spikes, and maybe grab some more wood. We need lots and lots of wood, and this map just does not have very much of that. And kill that bird and get some feathers while you're at it. And I'm going to take a look at the tech tree and see how we're doing here. We've got to process more items here in the advanced woodworking um, and more of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. We can craft um, buckets. Where's my buckets at? There's the bucket. Make a few of those and some more planks and that should meet that condition. Whoa! What is that arrow flying over here? <laughs> we had an errant arrow flying. Could have killed somebody. You gotta watch your aim. 
So yeah, it's not an automatic hit with those arrows. It's like a 40, uh, 70 percent chance, wasn't it? I think that's what it was. All right, come on back home, um, but get these trees while you're at it. Send some people over there. Grab more wood. We got everybody standing around doing nothing. So let's get to crafting more of these iron weapons and iron tools. And I'm not really giving these things out to anybody, am I? No, I have not. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We've got two archers gloves. I'm going to give those to the archers, obviously. We have one glove for you, Darren. And Santa gets a glove. Oh, they seem to drop the shields automatically when you give them the give them the bow. I did not notice that. Yes, of course, that makes sense because it's a two-handed weapon. And we're going to give you an iron pickaxe since you're the miner. We've got all these iron tools and things I've been making, and I have not given them out yet. Do we have a logger? I'm pretty sure we have a logger. There's my logger. There's my logger. You're going to get an iron axe. Things are looking good. Oh, a little tree popped up over here. Fantastic. And we're going to go up this way, as I had mentioned. I want to get in here and start cutting that stuff up. All right. I think the forging is complete. Oh, hold on. New technology, advanced woodworking. Nice. All right. We unlocked that, but we don't. that did not unlock advanced furnishing, unfortunately. And we need more ladders, as usual. Let's bring the ladders out down here. Oh, let's get that table out, too. I meant to put that down. Put that table down here. It's a lovely thing. In fact, let's get rid of this right here. We'll put a table over here and spruce that up a bit. And I kind of want to replace all of that snow in front. Sooner or later, the enemy is going to try to bust through the floor, if I recall correctly. So we want to make that as strong as possible. For right now, it's just going to have to be rock. We can make um, some kind of crafted material down the road, like I think... Uh, cement, that kind of thing. But for now, this is just gonna have to do. All right, let's uh, let's equip everybody with better weaponry. We have steel clubs for everyone, I think, at this point. Unless you're an archer or a mage, that is steel club for you, Jasper. Geralt, have a nice steel club. Santa is a an archer. Ingborg gets a steel club as well. And we have whoa, Lun, dude. We're going to get Lun a steel club. He is one of the OG dwarves here. So let's go ahead and make one more. We have 40 fire arrows. That's great. And while we're at it, we might even maybe make a couple of new mining um, picks and axes. And now we can put that table out somewhere. This would be for uh, more food, I suppose. Put it right here. And that adds to comfort as well. Speaking of comfort, I'm pretty sure we can make paintings now. Let's make the paintings with paper. So we're going to make the paper. Oh, that has to be crafted on the workbench. All right. And it requires water. So fortunately, we have some. And let's make up some clay, too. Just trying to get this particular tech done. We need bottles. Let's make up some bottles. And oil. We need bottles to make the oil. All right. And away we go. So we have about three minutes left before we get attacked. Oh, what do we have here? Miller's book. Increases the speed at which grain is ground to flour. Okay. Well, that's not very useful right now. <laughs> um, so we'll just store that away in inventory. We'll get to it eventually. Um, I think we're going to have to put another ladder over here eventually as well. So everybody has got to go all the way around here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's cut that out there, and let's put a hatch in. Do we have an extra hatch? We do not. We'll make one. So they can come up and down here and get out this way faster. There we go. Put in a ladder. And the hatch. We just whipped up. There we go. Beautiful. Things are looking up here. Get rid of that. Um, I think we can get rid of this ladder now and just cut this back a little that as well okay guys i just realized we can make ice with snow this is insane and we just finished basic processing so now we get advanced illuminating we get a wall lamp miner's lamp lighting stand a portable lamp oh portable lamp that's so cool yeah let's make some oil and that is oh that's instantaneous very nice um anyway i was saying we can now craft 
We can now craft um, ice spikes with all that ice we're making. So ice is actually real easy to make. As long as you have snow. And we have a ton of snow. And I don't think we need snow for anything. Look at that. Alright, we're going to have a ton of ice spikes. Oh, we just got new technology basic fortifications too. Uh, we're still pretty far away from getting a new dwarf. I'd love to get one, but it doesn't look like we're going to make it. We have 52 seconds left. Let's get those ice spikes out, people. Like, right now. Let's go, go, go. We've got a trap there. Trap there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's move it out. We're running out of time. Got two more ice spikes here. I wonder if they'll come up from the top. I don't think they can reach the top, so I think we'll be okay. And another one here. Go, go, go. Get rid of that. And a nice spike here. And I think we'll be good to go. 26 seconds. Let's move it out. Oh, boy. Here comes the music. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Okay, everybody in. Everybody in. Gather. Oh, no. Okay, fine. That's fine. All right, everybody in. Inside. Dude, get over here. Select dwarf control. Get over here. All right, everybody's ready. Where are you going? No, I, dude, I just moved you. Get over here. Everybody wants to get in the doorway. It's not funny. All right, monster portal has been opened. Here they come. They're bringing blue chickens. It's terrible. All right, we are ready. I'm going to leave the doors open. Actually, I'm going to close that door. Stay inside right now. And close this one too for now. All right, this is the big battle, everybody. We're going to wait right here. The door is closed, so they will not run out. They can't run out with the door closed, and we're going to attack as soon as they get closer. When they get trapped in that uh, in the cage, they're working their way through the spikes, but they are taking damage. Everybody's freaking out. This guy's thinking about treasure. This one wants beer. This one wants to go mining. <laughs> all right, is everybody up here? I think so. Oh wait, let's make sure we have all of the clubs in our hands because I made a bunch. I think I have one dwarf that's still using an old rusty mace here, dude. Get that steel club ready, and we are going to use our fire arrows. So let's get our archers ready with fire arrows. We have 40. So you guys get 20 apiece, okay? So make sure you share properly. All right, I think we are ready to rock and roll. You might as well take that pickaxe while we're doing this. Here they come. we got a couple of very well armored and armed skeletons. These guys are brutal. No, where, dude, where are you going? Seriously, dude, where are you going? Get up here. Everybody up here. We're going to open the door as soon as they get on top of this cage. And then we're going to attack. Let them take out the spikes. The spikes are doing their job. Oh, no. Now attack, attack. They're trying to cut through the stone. Did you see that? I knew it. Okay, everybody's up here, right? You can hear the uh, mage firing his little electricity bolt. And we got the archers shooting flaming arrows. And we killed 10 skeletons, 6,400 experience. We get an iron axe and a chair <laughs> as a reward. Okay, easy peasy. We got them with our new weaponry, our magic, and our flaming arrows. We're making short work of these stinkers. And that's it. Yeti dead. He wasn't even part of that group. He was late to the party. And we got a new dwarf. Yay, we did it. And wooden spikes and some bones. Level 10. Cheers, everybody. All right, we can get rid of the flag. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Get rid of the flag. Everybody can go back to doing what you're doing. Oh, here. Who's this person? Hi. Come here. Where are you going? You have a new young lass, a new dwarven lass here, Vilma. Vilma looks hungry. Vilma, go grab something to eat. And then uh, we'll, we'll get you all set up with some proper equipment. Um, we don't really have anything, do we? <laughs> Alright, well, here's a helmet. And Vilma is a carpenter. Er, are you? Well, I was hoping for maybe a smith or something. We still don't have a smith. And we're going to give you a stone pickaxe for now. And a rusty mace for the time being. And we're going to get Vilma all set up with um, wooden armor and all that fun stuff. When do we get to new armor, by the way? Like metal armor. Uh, oh, way over here. Advanced armor. Wow. Okay, we have quite a ways to go. So, it looks like wooden armor for you, Velma. Make her a backpack and some wooden armor. Oh, gosh, we need more rope. And 
wooden armor, which is instantaneous. Unlike the other stuff that needs to be forged, this comes right out of the oven in a jiff. All right, very good. So I think we're going to call it quits right here for now, folks. For next episode, we're going to work on, um, well, not a fishing pole. I don't know where there's any water. I guess we can make water, right, by melting snow. So that's a possibility, and I wonder if we can fish in a pond that we make. But anyway, we have a portable lamps, we have a bucket of worms for fishing, we have a float. So yeah, there's a lot of fishing stuff here, and we actually have a fisher dwarf around here somewhere, don't we? Yeah, right here, Ingborg. Or just Borg, right, so Ingborg here is the second Ingborg, and she is a fisher. So yeah, I'd like to see her do some fishing, and we're going to disable the flaming arrows from our archers right now, because they're not going to need them for regular... Um, fighting. Alright, and we'll whip up some new arrows while we're here and get everybody working. Make some new pickaxes, axes, etc. Let's get a couple of those going. Yeah, the forge is going to be um, real hot off camera, so I've got a lot of stuff to do. Oh, we got some new dishes to make now. Oh, we got fish stew, but we don't have any fish because we, we need to do some fishing, obviously. So that's something I will look into off camera. And hopefully we can uh, we can get that done. Let's throw some more food over here. All right, and I think I saw somebody hurting. Who was hurting? Somebody go to bed. Doing nothing. You go rest, Geralt. Everybody looked pretty good after that battle. All right. So that, oh, what the? Oh, hold on. We we're not done fighting. We got a yeti, a big yeti, and a little yeti. I will replace all the defenses here soon. Get the big guy, get the big guy, get the big guy, not the little guy, get the big guy. Man, those things hit really, really hard. But it's no match for the colony of Punchwood. Kill that tree. Alright, let's get some more spikes up. Did you see how those guys are digging through here? So, we're gonna have to attack them before they are able to do that, obviously. Alright, I think we're gonna... Oh, watch out, snail! Attacking! Um, I think we're gonna call it quits right here, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day.